of a great man, a Newfoundland and Labrador icon, dear to all our hearts. He impacted our culture. He lived such a large, large life. He was our province's version of the world's most interesting man. You couldn't believe everything he did in his lifetime. As a teenager, he set up international track meets back when Newfoundland was his own country. He would not only organize the logistics, but sell all the tickets, market it, win the high jump, and rake the long jump pits himself, which I always thought was a, a key part of the story. He never minded rolling up the sleeves, doing every little bit of the detail and work necessary to create a great event. He then went on a pre-law scholarship for basketball to university in Florida, went on to hunt alligators in Honduras, saw some newspapers being dropped down in the middle of the jungle, and had his aha moment. I can do that in Newfoundland, all the sealers out on the ice, all the remote fishing villages. I'm going to give a newspaper a little tabloid, a five cent tabloid that's going to give a little something to everyone. And that launched a media empire. He went on to meet with John Lennon. He went on to meet with senators in America. And on and on the list goes. You cannot believe someone accomplished all this in his life. More than that, though, he was a wonderful, wonderful, loving soul. I asked him once, how would you like to be remembered? He just said, as a loving father, and that I love my parents and as a good son. So that's how incredibly humble he was. It was all about love and the love vibration and family to him. And that echoed into the love of this province as well. So I would like to briefly mention the top five Jeffisms or great Jeff Sterling sayings that I was fortunate enough in my life to be exposed to that inspired me. Number five was you gotta have a plan. He loved that expression. You gotta have a plan. You can't go through life complaining about your miserable lot. Where do you wanna be? Where are you now? Then devise a plan to get there. And if you can conceive it, you can achieve it. And conceive the inconceivable. That might be Newfoundland and Labrador being a have province, or that might be going 24 hours the first time in the world when no one else was. Number four was being right is being right right now. There's two days we can't do anything. That's yesterday and that's tomorrow. We're a moment in eternity. If you're feeling anxiety, you're probably playing movies in your head that's going to happen tomorrow or might not. If you're playing guilt movies, it's what happened yesterday. We only have this present moment. That's why it's called the present. It's a gift. Number three was never forget your sense of humor. And as my dad said, that's the fun of it, man. It's balance. It's working hard and it's playing hard. He loved the quote, too. It's the motto of the Newfoundland Herald. If you abuse power, you lose it. But if you don't use power, you also lose it. Number two was bloom where you're planted. He so loved Newfoundland. There's a poem, The All-Round Newfoundlander. And he was it. There's a quote from Thoreau, most men lead lives of quiet desperation. He certainly did not. He had the courage to be true to himself, even if that made him unpopular at times. His top saying he taught me is you are the director of your own movie. You're the star of your own movie, man. And you're the script writer, you're the set designer, you're the costume, right down to the dialogue of every scene and the bit player in your movie. You were in total control, so why not make it the best movie, the best dream, make a masterpiece? I'll end with a couple quotes that I know he loved from a couple of his favorite philosophers. One was Khalil Gibran from The Prophet. For what is it to die but to stand naked in the wind and melt into the sun? And when the earth shall claim your limbs, then shall you truly dance. He also loved the CLB Armory. He always said, fight the good fight. It was such a positive impact of his youth. So he'd want us all to keep fighting that good fight of loving our families and keeping this province and this country moving forward. Finally, from the master key system, Charles Hannell, he repeated this to me at least 100 times in my life. I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. So God bless you, Jeff Sterling, the true Captain Newfoundland, the visionary philosopher, poet, hero in all of our lives, the most unique and amazing human being I've ever met.